This is the Tokyo Butter 23 sneaker channel. Tokyo Butter 23 no sneaker channel. This mainichi absuru no de mainichi mite kudasai. I bring you daily content every single day about sneakers. Every day without fail, I'm dropping you reviews. I'm dropping you upcoming sneaker releases and sneaker news from here in Tokyo, Japan. So make sure you check in every single day for your daily sneaker content. And today it's no different. I'm bringing you a banging sneaker from Adidas. It's the Young One Blue Pink. As I said in the introduction, today is all about the Adidas Young One Blue Pinks. And as I said in the introduction, here I am in Japan. And sometimes I do slip into Japanese and speak to my Japanese audience. Tatoeba kyo wa nihongo de hanasu no koto wa itsumo yu koto desu. Ano CC bato no click suru to ego no jimaku ga dette kudu no de. Sono ego o yomi nagara Tokyo Bata 23 no ego o kiku to o susume shimasu no de. Zehi CC bato no click shite ego no jimaku yo yonde kudasai. Nihongo no jimaku wa shudo de yiru. ないといけないので、あのできませんけど、YouTubeは自動で英語の字幕を出してくれるので、ぜひCCバトンをクリックしてください。Uh, so that's uh, me just uh, talking about the CC button and getting those subtitles on the bottom there. I do like to advise that and recommend that to my second language uh, viewers because it does help a little bit at least, and hopefully it will help anybody out there understand what it is I'm talking about. For example, you'll understand that I'm talking about tomorrow's sneaker, which is the Air Jordan 9. Do it, dream it, or dream it, do it. I think it's dream it, do it, uh, which is dropping real soon. It's a really amazing looking sneaker. It's like black on one bit and then flash of color on another and those two se separate sections. Really incredible looking sneaker. Looking forward to reviewing that for you guys tomorrow. So make sure you've hit that subscribe button and you don't miss out on this daily content from Tokyo, Japan. Just two days ago, I brought you the D-Rupt S sneaker and I was not at all behind the D-Rupt line from Adidas at all. Really, I, I was allergic to it, if we're, we're really honest. Uh, it's a sneaker I just didn't want to touch, but they updated it for this year and I thought, you know what, that actually looks pretty good, so let's give that sneaker a try. Yesterday, the Air Max 97 Dallas is a sneaker again. I've been very clear about not particularly liking the Air Max 97s, but they brought out this colorway and I had a really good look at it. I thought, you know what, actually, that's a banging sneaker. Let's get that on the channel. And here we are, three of three. I did warn you guys two days ago, I'm bringing you three sneakers in a row, which I wouldn't normally review for you, but I'm actually digging into them and I'm finding their history and I'm finding out information about them that says you know what these sneakers are well worth a look so I'm going to give them that look and talk about them on my channel and that is what's happening today with these Adidas Young One Blue Pinks because what happened with these guys is that they, they kind of started off very colorful and then they dropped them down into these really neutral colors of very very simple uh, grays and whites and not at all banging or popping colors but here for the start of this year just like the D-Rups getting a little redesign a little boost in their uh, their energy levels and in their design the young ones have got a boost as well we're back to colorful ones and I'm going to talk to you about those colors today usually when I review a sneaker I like to do it top to bottom we start at the top line and work our way down to the outsole or I might do it based on design features sometimes but what I've never done before and what I'm going to try and do today is I'm going to try and do this for you today in terms of color so there's four big colors on this sneaker I'm going to try and walk you through how those colors are visible on these sneakers one by one. So without further ado, let's look at how this sneaker incorporates the crystal white color into its shoe. Okay, looking at the crystal white parts of the sneaker, there are three specific places where the crystal white really pops. The first is on the panels of the upper, which have leather overlays around them. They are in that crystal white colorway, and it's not the only leather over oh, the only leather overlays on there. There are other ones, but we're only interested in the white for now, where that crystal white mesh uh, nylon in the upper in the panels, the overlays that are in the, the the crystal white, which is on the toe box, but also around the mud guard section and you see those uh, crystal white overlays. But then if you go up to the top of the ankle towards the heel of the ankle section there is again in that crystal white coloring. And then if you flip these guys upside down, the middle section of the outsole is that crystal white. So there's three really big places where the crystal white comes into play. The panels and the overlays on the top, the center of the midsole, and then on that heel ankle support section. The next color that we're gonna look at is the clear orange on the sneaker. And that is most notable on that midfoot three stripe branding. The Adidas 
this three stripe banding it's an absolute cracking design that has followed this this brand from the beginning uh, and everybody knows what three stripes mean you can see that the orange on there really helps this sneaker to pop and that is accented in the tongue where in the tongue tab you can see again you've got that orange in there which sort of draws the color from the three stripe branding on the midfoot all the way up to the tongue and then down into that lace holder section of the lacing system there again so there's three points on the upper where you've got that orange sort of playing together uh, on that white that I already talked about and, and to me in that layered effect if you've got that sort of base of white and then you've got these oranges uh, accents appearing on the top of it you're building yourself a great sneaker then flipping onto the outsole again there are these orange accents most notably towards the heel and towards the toe of the outsole the third of the four colors we're going to look at is collegiate royal and that's the blue that you see throughout this sneaker and we're staying with that outsole where we finished with the orange to bring you that torsion system in the middle now when i was growing up the torsion system was an absolute key design element of sneakers if you had torsion adidas sneakers you were cool and at that time it was this yellow bar that ran almost from the forefoot to the heel it was quite long i'd say maybe as much as 10 centimeters long maybe not quite that long uh, but then uh, as that evolved and developed this crossover pattern came and this was a sort of second generation torsion for me and you can see on these that blue color there that collegiate uh, royal I think that we said the color was is there on that torsion system so that's the midsole or the outsole I should say the very center of it and then if you go up the top you've got overlays and underlays on the upper where that collegiate royal is evident and it really helps offset the orange that I talked about earlier they've done a great job of balancing the colors on this sneaker not one color over overwhelming the others not too much white not too much orange and not too much of that collegiate royale the final place that I want to look for that collegiate royale is on the back of the tongue and again if this was anywhere else it would overwhelm the rest of the sneaker this much blue but they did a great job of putting it on the tongue so you've got that flash of color without it overwhelming the other colors on this sneaker and the final colors that we're looking at are flashes of pink and gray and they are most notable at first on the midfoot three stripe branding where you can see they've got those flashes right in there to add an extra bit of color and an extra bit of pop and then if we go towards the heel on the ankle support section maybe it's the heel counter there's sort of an insert uh it kind of reminds me of an air jordan 13 where they have that kind of hologram insert even though there's nothing inserted in these young ones uh it's just a sort of gray insert there just that adds a flash of color even though it's gray and adds in a detail, uh, a design detail that really helps sort of bring that upper up and make it a, a more interesting looking sneaker to look at. So you've got the pink on the three stripe branding midfoot and then you've got that little gray insert towards the heel and ankle section which I really think helps this sneaker become a really banging sneaker. I was surprised to review these guys for you today. Young ones were not on my list of sneakers to review but they do actually look pretty good. I like that kind of the story of last year how they started colorful and they kind of brought them down to muted colors and here we're coming back again to the colorful ones. It does have that sort of dad sneaker look to it without being too much of a dad sneaker you know I don't like my dad sneakers my 700s my 500s I'm not really into that um, and I think this young one it doesn't quite go too far so in my book it stays on the safe side and it's a yes but it had it been a little bit more clunky and a bit more dad sneakery I probably would have said no to these guys but as it is I think they've done a good job of updating the sneaker and make it into a really nice looking addition to the spring catalogue and that's my review for today. Thanks for checking in as usual. And tomorrow, like I did say, we've got that Air Jordan 9 that's dropping. It's, a, it's like two different sneakers banged together. It's unbelievable. You've got this sort of hybrid, the black pure leather, and then these flashes of color that just pop in there as well. A great looking sneaker. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you can check in tomorrow and catch my video about those Air Jordan 9s. It's a really good looking sneaker. Dream it, do it. Great motto. Definitely one to get behind. And all that remains is for me to thank you for checking in today and say that I will definitely be back with another review tomorrow as i am every single day and i will see you tomorrow thank you for checking in today guys i really appreciate your being here and viewing my content over here we have the channel subscribe button channel toro kuzihi onagaishimasu over here we have the video i recommend you watch next kochira wa osusumi desu and up here we have a link to the channel introduction video kochira wa channel no profile no video desu check them out clicking on them really helps the channel